Good afternoon, Tiger Sports fans. This is John Cannon coming to you from Mercedes High School, where on Friday, the 2017 golf season officially begins. Today, we are going to be doing our golf preview for the season, and we are here with head coach David Garcia. Coach, first off, season's back. It just seemed like it ended. Yes, sir. You yes, know? Sir. But uh, talk about the team. I know you've lost some key pieces mm -hmm. on, on the boys' side. You lost a couple on the girls' side. I guess it's going to be rebuilding mode, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we lost most of our girls. We do have one coming back from last year. She would be a sophomore. But we are looking at a lot of incoming freshmen to come play for us this year. It's just a matter of getting them out of a contributing band to come out here and practice. But also the implement what we had so far, it's been kind of pulling us back a little bit. As far as the guys' side, we did lose Jen on the top five. Uh, we had a lot of seniors graduate last year. Oscar Rioja is also on the top five. But we do have Malcolm uh, Gracia coming back, Eric Posadas. And we have uh, Malcolm Garcia, but we also uh, we have Luis Gonzalez that played on our second team. He's back, so now we're just looking for the fifth spot, and hopefully we can get the fourth and fifth man a little bit hitting the balls, striking balls, uh, hitting lower scores uh, uh, to accomplish accompany the the rest of the team. Now, who who's going to step into Jen Lynn's spot? I mean, the two, three, four were pretty even last year, right? From what I remember looking at it. So, who's kind of got the upper hand right now to secure that number one spot? Uh, it's really a toss-up. Uh, uh, I know uh, Gavin, he wasn't able to practice too much in the summer because he did work as a lifeguard. But we did have Eric, uh, he attended my golf camp, and he did work on, on parts of the game that I saw where you can tell he was, uh, he was uh, getting better. But when we started off the season, when we had the sun come out and we were practicing at, at Tierra, they both looked pretty tough. So, I mean, like I said, it'll be okay, and then Malcolm should step it up this year, too. He's so, really, you've team. got some good competition there, I think. You know, competition is always a good thing to have. So having these guys push each other, really, you, you, you don't pretty much have a one, two, three, but you have like a one, two, three punch in other words. Right, right. So that's what I'm saying. We need to work on our, our where our fifth man's going to be this year and our fourth man, Luis. He's been coming around. He was a scratch, a beginner golfer as a freshman, and now he's a junior, and, and he's hitting the ball. He's been able to break the 110 uh, mark, but working with him again this year, I think we, he might be able to be a strong four for us this year. In the, in the boys' district, I mean, Vets obviously is one of the top teams, but a lot of teams lost some key pieces. I know Ed Cast lost Kanan, yes. you know, Donna Northcast lost, lost Tommy. Tommy. So um, I know you still have guys like Jonathan DeMosca coming back and Donna, he can be pretty tough. Mm. Who are some of the teams that you feel could be in the mix for this thing? I think um, pretty much it's going to be pretty open. Uh, I believe uh, Vets lost the majority of the top five and they're I think they're all seniors but mm -hmm. I do I do know that the second team was pretty decent so um, I think everybody has a chance uh, would help Donna Donna edges out last year for third place by a stroke but they've been working hard since they're a freshman so that's what they're all right now the top five should be juniors right now and they should be coming around so I think maybe Vets might have an edge on Ed Couch but I think whoever plays good those two days at district can, can get it. Where do you see you guys in the mix on the boys' side? We'll be there. I think we'll be there as long as they say we can. If we can find a good, solid fourth and fifth man, then we'll give more room for the money too. Dude. Now let's convert over to the girls' side. It's gonna be a lot of work to be put in. You're gonna be young, but have these girls? Do they have experience in it? Have they played at the lower levels or? or? We have a few that played uh, junior high in the past couple of years, uh, but they're they're not. They're not diehard golfers, but they at least dabble there. And from what I can see, from the ones that we've gone out to practice, they can hit, at least hit the ball kind of straight. So I just a matter of just touching up and get them used to being on the course, walking the course, and then you know, have, you know having two days, they may, they may be okay. You know, Who do you think on that side could be your number one? Will it be the, the one returner that you were talking about? Is she uh, going to be your number one, or do you have a young up-and-comer that could fire for that spot? I have a couple of freshmen that, like I said, since they've been going to practice, they've been improving every day. So like I said, as long as they hit the ball straight, and then we can, you know, stay from the nines, you know, then we'll be all right. Who are some of the sleepers on your team, for your team on the girls' side that, that you feel can make some serious noise? Well, I know vets, nobody's going to touch vets. Uh, they're, they're probably one district, hands down. Uh, but uh, Bronzo Lopez did real good last year. So they're going to they're gonna be a, a tough group this year for second and, and probably eight cuts again. Yeah, because it's always the mix. So for second place, we'll be back for that. But what is your goal with this young group this year? I mean, again, of course, everybody wants to get to regionals. That's right. the thing. But looking at it through your eyes, what do you want your girls to be? Is it mostly experience? Is it, hey, let's get out there and get the varsity experience and see what it's like? Both experience and competition. I think uh, if they uh, just listen, listen, apply, and commit to what I tell them, I can get them ready and maybe get them in the mix too. 
uh, at least for a second. First place, I mean, vets, they're, they're way out there. So be, that'll be tough. But yes, I want to get their experience. I want them to at least uh, go out there and try a, few, a couple of tournaments, get them in the belt. And just get adjusted to carrying the bag, playing two tournaments, you know, uh, two day tournaments, and walking the 18 and the fatigue and stuff like that. But uh, I think if they like it, then we'll be okay in the, in the future. Last question. You've got your first uh, golf tournament coming up this weekend. But Mother Nature has not been very cooperative. Has that hurt you guys? I mean, granted, you've been on the course quite a bit, but being the week of, I'm sure there's little things you have to tweak. So has this kind of been a, a setback for y'all going into it? Slightly, slightly, but not really, because uh, usually uh, well, when we had the, the, the warmer weather, we focused more on the short game. So we did a lot of time in the, in the bunny ring and at the range. I did have uh, my top four or five kids go out there and play a few holes, and their scores are pretty decent. Um, I was kind of surprised. But uh, I think just getting them back into the routine of things, they'll be all right. Dude, expectations for this weekend. What, what is the main thing that you want to get out of both the boys and the girls? Just getting back to the swing of things, carrying the bags, walking around, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, have them set some individual goals that they've already told me about and break them and, and we'll just take it from there and hopefully just keep on improving through, throughout the whole season. There you go, Coach. Well, I'll tell you what, thank you for your time. We really appreciate it. Once again, this was the 2017 golf preview. Of course, I know it's broken up into two seasons, right? You have a fall semester and the spring yes. semester. Fall semester begins this Friday, weather permitting, we'll at Tierra Santa. So, Coach, are you ready? We are. I know we're ready. Yes, sir. All right, Coach, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.